Hey friends, how are you today? I hope you're having a good day so far. Today's video is an unboxing. I haven't been around for a couple weeks. I just have not felt like filming. And I thought, you know what? I've got my makeup on, my hair on, all the stuff. I think I'm going to record a video. It's gotten harder for me this semester because of my class times for me to have the time to record videos. I'm off today and I figured I would go ahead and record one for you. It's a Dooney unboxing and I got this from QVC. This was not packaged very well. This is the box. So a fairly big box. Okay. And the bag is not that big. Let me show you. When I opened it, I was really glad that, you know, because I use like a, a box cutter type of thing uh, to open the box. I was glad that I didn't go too deep with that box cutter because there is like nothing in here protecting it. This is exactly how it was with this little flat down like this. Nothing else in here protecting. I would say do better QVC with that because that would have been really bad had I cut open this bag because of the way they packed it. So anyway, that out of the way, this is just the domed satchel. Now I don't have, let me scoot over. I don't have anything like this as far as the print's concerned. I do have, I think it's the Darcy. I wanna say it's the Darcy and it's in a pink color. And I think I have another domed satchel, I think. But I don't have anything in this embossing. Let me go ahead and open it. I happened to see this. I was just looking back through um, the shows that have been on QVC. And this one came up. I thought it was a pretty good price. I will link it down below. They had two colors when I looked, two colors. They had a blue and then they had this one. This is the espresso color. I don't have anything in this color. And even though I really like the blue because blue is my favorite color, I thought, you know what? I need to get something that I don't have. So I went ahead and went with this. It's a beautiful dark brown, but I feel like there are kind of hints of black in there. It may even be coming across as black. Over here, you kind of see that it's brown. You know, normally I'm not a fan of this like lizard embossed leather, but I think this is so pretty. I can put everything down below for you so you'll be able to find it if you're interested. Now this has gold hardware, as you can see. Let me go ahead and take off all of the little paper and stuff and show you the bag. Usually I don't like bags that have handles that stay up. Like you can't push them down. And it looks like this will be the case on this one, but they actually do go down. Not all the way, they probably would if you worked with it, but they do go down, which I really do like because when you have it like, you know, uh, on your shoulder or cross, do like crossbody or whatever, I don't like those handles to be sticking up. That's just a, one of those little things about me. But anyway, I liked that. I feel like most Dooney bags have completely rolled handles, but these are flat. Can you see that? I don't know why I think they usually have the like round rolled handles. Interesting. I kind of like it though, because it lays, it will lay flat on your skin. So I like that. There's a pretty long pull tab. So that's nice. Uh, the D-rings on either side here. I'm sure the strap is on the inside. This does not adjust. It, look like, it looks like it might, but it doesn't. There are feet on the bottom. There's a pocket on the front side here. Let me see if my phone case will fit in it. I have my phone case here. It'll fit like that. I don't think it'll go the other way though. I have a 12 Pro Max. I mean, maybe I'm like struggling. I did get it in this way, but it might be because it's stuffed so much uh, on the inside, but it does go in that way. It was a real struggle to get it out. The back pocket is the exact same as the front pocket. So it's gonna fit it just like the front would. So there it is standing up like that. Nice zipper. And of course it is stuffed. Let me go ahead and take everything out. Here's the strap dust bag. It has the regular standard Dooney setup, pretty much like they all do. On one side, there's a, 
uh, zipper pockets and then a slip pocket down below. And then on the other side, a slip pocket and then a smaller for the old bones, I guess, but smaller for that. Of course, the red interior. Here's the key keeper. Let me go ahead and put the strap on it. Now, in case you don't know while I'm doing this, I'll talk about this. In case you don't know, if you've never ordered anything from PVC, in my opinion, now is the time to do it. So first of all, in case you didn't know, QVC does accept returns that have been used. So if you pop, buy a pair of shoes, a purse, a shirt, whatever, you wash the shirt, doesn't matter. You've used the bag, it doesn't matter. You don't have to have the tags attached to it. Shoes, you've used them, they're scuffed on the bottom, whatever. Normally you do have 30 days to return. That's a no matter what. Right return policy with QVC, you just have to, you know, pay the return shipping unless something's wrong with it. If it was like defective or whatever, you don't. People don't like to bother with, with shipping and, and I get it. But after, they may have changed the date. I know previously it's been September 1st. So I'm just gonna say September 1st. After September 1st, anything that you order between September 1st and December 31st, you actually have until January 31st to return it. So if you order something September 1st, you have all of September, October, November, December, and January. You have five months to use whatever it is and decide if you like it or not and return it if you don't. So excellent return policy in my opinion from QVC. Now I'm sure that some people abuse that. I don't abuse it. I only return if I truly don't like something, like it doesn't work for me or whatever. I don't just buy stuff to use it to return it. Do you know what I mean? If you've never bought anything from QVC, definitely I would say take a chance. A lot of times with makeup and stuff, you can find pretty good prices because they'll do special values and you know things like that. Handbags, not so much. I think most of us, probably if you're watching this video, you know, you know, there's I Love Dooney and then Dooney has great sales as well. So a lot of times you can find better deals. That's just something to think about. All right, so here is the strap. This is one of those that you can remove the center part here and then just make a shoulder bag. So it would be about that long because that's where the straps would come out. I will put the exact dimensions down below for you so you'll know. I believe this is a little bit bigger than the Darcy, I want to say. I feel like, I just think it feels bigger than the Darcy, but it's still a good size. I don't feel like it's super duper heavy. You know, their leather bags do tend to get heavy sometimes. That's why I do like, like the Wayfair bag that I have. I think it's a nice color for the fall as well. So I'm definitely excited to use it. And I think I might go ahead and move into it actually, because I've been using the Brahmin one. If you remember, I did a Brahmin unboxing and I have a smooth leather Brahmin that I got at the outlet. And I've been using that one for quite a while. So I think I'm ready to change it up. And I think I will go ahead and change into this one. So if you wanna see what fits, be sure and let me know. One thing to notice or to note is kind of interesting on these inside pockets, all this back part back here, that's all leather. So only the front part of that pocket is the, the red cotton lining. And that's the case, yep, on the other side too. That's pretty interesting, I like that. Of course, somebody made some comment on another video, I believe, I believe it was a Michael Kors wallet video that there's like a snake print. And somebody said that I was just horrible for buying anything that was snake because that was horrible to animals y'all that's not real snake and this is not real lizard right it's just embossed so don't freak out it's just regular leather it smells pretty good yep it smells pretty good pretty nameplate all gold hardware i like it what do you think i like the profile Nice ladylike bag. But like I said, if you wanna see what fits, be sure and let me know. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging around my channel, giving me time to get back on the horse and start making videos again. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon.